It is Sunday, September 10th, 2023. I'm here at Long Beach Veterans Memorial Stadium for the Long Beach High Performance Swap Meet, which happens once a month. I film this one most months, uh, so this month I'm filming it. We did have a little bit of rain this morning, uh, which may have scared some people off, but I always say the people that do show up to sell their vehicles are usually a little bit more serious uh, since it is raining. Uh, so this weekend you're getting to see uh, two videos on the channel. Uh, yesterday I did post the video from Cruising for a Cure from uh, Costa Mesa from the Orange County Fairgrounds. And today we're going to do the swap meet. Uh, there's always a lot of great stuff here and a lot of stuff that's for sale and a lot of stuff that isn't for sale. So let's go have a look right now. All right, so the cars are still arriving. I think people are waking up and realizing the rain has stopped. I grabbed my umbrella, so for sure the rain has stopped because if I didn't grab my umbrella, it would still be raining right now. That's how, that's how the world works. So we got this old uh, bread van. So next week we're off to Pomona Fairgrounds, not for the swap meet, we're going for a Grand National truck show not roadster show it's the first time they're doing that i'll be heading out there saturday and i'm taking my van so i can get in early so i can start filming early because otherwise the gates open at uh 10 o'clock for spectators nice 70 uh, el camino super sport versus 69 mustang mach one these are not for sale like i said usually towards after the first line or two, we start seeing some of the more for sale stuff popping up. Not sure if I'm going to be able to film something else next week. Uh, we'll see if there's anything on Sunday. Uh, weekend after that, I might be hitting a Woody show on uh, the Saturday, was it the 23rd? And then on Sunday, I've got, there's like a super indoor custom show is what it's called up in Ventura. I think it's uh, a low rider show. So far, that's what I have planned. At the end of the month, I have no idea what I'm filming. Uh, I'm not doing Tucson, which was the original plan. I'm still kind of looking for a show for that weekend. So then rolling into October. We've got the uh, in and out show back at the Fairplex. And the week after that, we've got uh, Pomona Swap Meet is October 15th. Uh, the 14th, I'm out in Palm Springs for casual concours. So that'll be a two video weekend as well. As always, check the tentative list, which will be in the uh, comments of the video pinned to the top shortly after uh, the video posts. That's this lowrider vehicle saber. Chevy C10. This guy's a regular here with this 59 flat top Impala. There's our first car that is for sale, this Toyota. Could be yours for seven thousand. It's a 1967 model. Not a G-body Cutlass with skirts. I did announce in the last video the car I picked up a few weeks ago, which is probably going to wind up being for my daughter, is a 1970 Cutlass 
four-door, so it was, believe me, it was definitely, even for a four-door, it was cheap, so, and I did already get it running. In fact, I got it home, I put some gas in the carb, and it started, but, of course, it does need work, it's sat a while. Got a 64 Chevelle convertible for 45000 283 V8. Non super sports bench seat. So I said I picked her. I picked up a Cutlass four door, and my daughter loves it. So I think I'm gonna try to do it up for for a cool, just old car for high school. She's about to turn 14 in a couple weeks, so it's time to get started on something for her. And since it's like an A body. GM cards, it's relatively easy to get a lot of the parts for it. I have a couple, this guy's a regular here with this Radio Flyer F1 Ford pickup. Obviously patina at Chevy. Cool. You got the gear off for a new job? Nah, there's too much vodka. I might be doing a video on the Cutlass at some point on one of the weekends when there's like no car shows, most likely Thanksgiving weekend because for some reason there's just zero car shows that weekend. I think there's like one in Houston, Texas. That's all I found. There's a big Motorama in Houston. I'm not flying to Houston. Now the OBS Chevy. So I do try to get up at least one video a week. Sometimes I do two or three. Three is very rare though, but lately I've been able to get two on some weekends when there's just been a lot of events. So be sure to subscribe to the channel that way you can hit the notification bell. You get notified when I do post a video because I know YouTube's been kind of weird lately and they tend to recommend videos that's you're not really that interested in, at least it does on my end, and I've heard that from other people. And also check your subscriptions tab, so you can keep track of all the uh, channels you do subscribe to, and that's really for any channel on YouTube that you like to watch, because it's, I think it's affecting everybody. There's one that's not for sale, but we'll have a look at it, it's 59 El Camino. There are more cars rolling in. So a 39 Chevy sedan delivery that does have a for sale sign on it. No price on it, but there's all your info. Just like it was uh, painted in the uh, clear coat era because it's kind of flaking off. Got a uh, probably 70s, I would guess, steering column in there. Got the old uh, KRLA uh, license plate frame. I still have a KRLA sticker somewhere, it's unpeeled. And you have a couple of them. And if you like old radio air checks, I, I think I mentioned this, my friend actually has a collection of tapes he recorded when he was much younger of LA area. Uh, air checks of the different DJs. I think he's even got Carol A on there. I think he's got like Real Don Steel on Carol A and a couple other ones. He might have like Art LeBeau or something. Uh, and it's called uh, Air Checks by Maverick. He just started his channel uh, doing that. So it's really interesting. A great trip down memory lane. I'm trying to help Mal because I think he has very few subscribers since he just started. Anybody who's done YouTube knows at the beginning. It's difficult to get subscribers onto your channel. Beautiful 57 Pontiac Safari. 
wagon. Of course, their version of the Nomad. So again, his channel is Air Checks by Maverick is what his channel is. He's been posting pretty consistently, too. In fact, I'm trying to find, I've got an old KMET cassette of Dr. Domeno. I recorded when I was young, and i got to see if I can find it. I told him if I can find it, I'll give it to him to put on his channel. Yeah, the Suburban. Now come over and get the 61 that rolled in and parked on this line. This will be very original. I believe that's original paint. It sure looks like it. It's not, it's very old paint. Sixty-nine Chevelle Malibu. Come in, show you the sixty-four El Camino. Truck. Actually, this one's a. Uh, this one looks like it's originally a postal van, so it's right-hand drive. It's an AM General. So these use a AMC Straight Six. I think it's the 232. I don't think they did the 258s in these. Very much like the uh, postal Jeeps. They use the, the 232 AMC Straight Six. Come around, get you this Carmen Ghia. Guys, a regular here too with this international international harvester. We got a uh, El Camino that's for sale. Looks like we got it's got an LS swap. Your info on that. That's a custom work there on the interior. It's got a uh, Cutlass Supreme badge on the uh, dash there. I will say the Cutlass I bought is not a Supreme, it is a base Cutlass. Now here's the weird thing, it's an old got air conditioning, power steering, and manual four-wheel drum brakes. So, sort of an unusual optioned vehicle. That's a 350 Olds uh, rocket motor. A square body, uh, short bed. So there's a for sale sign, no info on it though. I say if there's no info, sometimes if they are for sale, like and they're serious about selling them, they'll well usually if they're serious they'll put their information on there, but sometimes they're posted online elsewhere, marketplace, Craigslist, the usual spots. That's Thunderbird. It's got a uh, 390 FE.
in this uh, unibody Ford F100 short bed. Looks like the bed's a different color. I know one thing you have to watch on these is there's a lot of them that were originally long bed that were converted to short bed. So, which uh, may be the case for this one. I'm not saying for sure, so. People do replace beds on trucks. Twenty-six super stock cross rams. Obviously, a very, very, very rare car. So take it down to Irwindale and just park it and do the same. We do thing. burnouts on our street. The 59 Impala. It's got the uh, plastic and the upholstery there. Just like Grandma's sofa. Cutlass is for sale. This one's a two door, not like mine. The uh, 455 for 15,000. This one does have uh, a little bit of rust there behind the window. Might be a bit of a Pomona price. It's got crispiness on the trunk lid there too. Five blazers for sale for There's a 65 C10 that is for sale. Long bed variety for 
$24,999. See a very clean example. Be a little good look in the bed there. So I did a recent uh, wood kit on it. It's not for sale. It's kind of neat. It's old GMC with a LS. Nicely patinaed. She got the old NSU motorcycle. Very cool uh, German bike. NSU actually used to make uh, Lambretta scooters under license. one that is for sale, this uh, Ford F1, 55000 or trade. See if we can bring it around the back, it's parked kind of close with a bunch of other trucks here. Cab over. Had a uh, 1967 El Camino for 40,000. Info on that. This Monty SS, no price on it, is uh, for sale though. And this is an Aero Coupe, so it's got the uh, larger rear window for an Ash car homologation. They had to build X number of them so they could put that uh, rear window on their NASCAR entry. And how about a, a Dodge Dakota? convertible pickup. You don't see these very often. A, a 57 210 wagon. The LS. Here's for 35,000. A good walk around on it. Camaro is for sale. This one's a standard 327 model, 42,500 on that one. Not an SS or an RS or anything like that.
Cadillac limousine. Not for sale, but definitely an interesting vehicle. sold at Buick dealerships. This one has a uh, Mexico plate, some sort of Volkswagen based uh, steak bed truck. Looks kind of homemade-ish, I guess, suppose. You can see the welds there. <laughs> Good look. I think it's more like for industrial uses. Looks like there's a motor in there somewhere. Definitely something a little bit on the different side. Just want to get a better shot in there. This for sale, 350 swap on that one. The info. that are both legible. Bonus. I guess I could be wrong. I thought that was more for like brass era stuff. So I guess carrying around the umbrella didn't work. It's actually starting to sprinkle again. It's not too bad though. Cadillac. Colorado. This one is for sale. One of those, I don't feel like filling out a sign, so just call for more information. I suspect it's more of a I use this for sale sign for a different vehicle's situation. <laughs> Uh, F100 dent side. No info other than a uh, number. So. Yeah, 
get this S10 or 5000. You got the uh, four cylinder, was it the Iron Duke with a manual transmission? And it's got your uh, work rack there. Hey, that, that dude, he, uh, he likes your car that old. Yeah, those are old now. 62 Nova. No price, but there's all the info. Hey, it's for sale sign, matches the car. Come on, it's color coordinated. How often do you see that other than like white cars? Because most of your cell signs are white. <laughs> police chases with this one. This has the uh, soft top. It's very loud over here, so I think we saw this previously here. There's some rust holes here and there. Sunset plates. 
Browning Olds, Long Beach Cerritos plate frame on it. This thing is Grandma's Garage Fresh. Six that's for sale. Twenty nine thousand. I got a picture of the person. I got to see if the fire is up. It's not driven for fifty years. I believe we've seen this before. Probably here end at Pomona. We got a uh, G body Monte Carlo for sale. So there. This Falcon Wagon. CD station wagon. These were a Fox body platform. First generation of Conaline van. It's pretty shagged out back there. mentioned on these uh, videos especially the swap meet ones that well the, on the swap meet ones I tend to focus in more on the cars that are for sale since I know a lot of people do watch these shopping for vehicles very nice 57 Ford Fairlane there got a, a K5 Chevy Blazer here figures for 36,574 so it's pretty smog to be very, very original. I usually don't see them in that sort of original condition. I'm sure this one's, oh, I thought maybe this one was for sale because everybody was looking at it over there. Very clean square body though. anything. Oh, yeah. Another uh, 
square body for sale since the 87 short bed, 23,000. A uh, 74 short bed, pre smog, 32,000. That's one I can actually get around the back of. Yeah, that's 57. And a Japanese K van. This one's a uh, Honda. Right hand drive. Sort of interesting. Alright, this one isn't for sale, but I had to show it because it's a very nice original Volkswagen Fastback. You don't see the Fastback very often. Usually you see the square backs. So that looks to be original paint. Just a neat old Volkswagen. The 49 Chevy that's for sale. So it could be yours for 20,000, but it's crossed out. Oh, 26, and then it's crossed out. Okay. It was 26 and then he put a piece of tape over it, so maybe you make an offer if you're really interested. I believe we've seen this one here before as well. Not for sale, but it's just a very clean 56. We got a uh, Chevy three-quarter ton van. So this is for sale, no other info other than that. Looks like it's probably early 70s. That's not a for sale sign, so just going to show you the truck. It has GMC. Corvette, could be here for $25,000, make your uh, disco dreams come true. Look, look, this is the lightning right here, this is one more deal that, right, the first lightning that came out, right? Two tops and all, nice clean 57 Thunderbird. Seven two door sedan. All right, that's going to do it here in Long Beach for the high performance swap meet. Uh, be sure to like, be sure to subscribe, be sure to hit that notification bell so you know when I do post a video on the channel. Uh, as I do uh, hit a lot of shows, usually one or two a week, sometimes even more than that. Uh, a lot of great cars. Let me know what your favorite one was. And until next time, I'll be seeing you.